y'all welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to another share more projects with friends at the end of this video i will be announcing the winner to this kit and this is the last share more projects with friends that i did two weeks ago in that kit you'll have all the pieces to create these two um, little christmas tree treat, treat boxes and also um, this little box right here and i will link that video down below showing how i created those with all the information in this share more projects with friends what i'm going to share is this little lori whitlock it's called a gift box um, pop out card she does have several different designs this one has a little dinosaur in it for a little boy he's turning five so for the tag on the front that's not included with the file I did use my Fiskars um, punch. I got this from Joann's and this is the tag I used. You can use any tag, but I thought that one's really cute. It has a little eyelet thing there on the back, but I never used that. But I like that punch. And then I just um, used my hole punch to put a little hole there with some ribbon because I wanted them to know which side of the car of the card was the front. So I did mat it all the way around and this little bow is also included with the file. So it opens up like this and then it folds down like that so I thought this was really cute for a five-year-old boy his um, birthday is actually Jurassic Park so I wanted to create this for him that's how the back of it looks and I think when you cut this piece it actually cuts in one full piece just like that inside but I didn't cut that correctly so I just used the panels just like I did there and just split it so when you have the top on it'll just look like the rest of the panels so that's how it looks that's the top I used 110 pound paper from paper tray ink for my base for the blue and then for the matting of the card I used this that's my boy by Lori Woodlock as well which I didn't realize until just now and I found this at Hobby Lobby and this was two dollars and forty nine cents so for this kit I've included everything that the file cuts out this is the piece that cuts out for the top and then this is the piece that cuts out for the um, part that flips out so this part right here so you will need um, I did cut these out with eight and a half by eleven papers so you need two pieces of the eight and a half by eleven and then I just added these little pieces on there so these are the pieces that you would mat the um, little cutouts on and they do have a one and two in the corners there's one and there's two and that just tells you how to place them in the box this is the one you mat the balloons on and then that one is for the little dinosaur and then this one goes in the front or that's where I put mine for the little stars there is a piece to go on the bottom of the box just to close it off if you don't add this piece it'll fold flat so you can mail it and but they'll still have to like add this piece on or you'll have to cut the little tabs that this piece adheres to there are tabs on the bottom if you don't put it completely together and you just want to fold it up and mail it I would not um, I would cut these tabs off and not adhere this bottom piece or add the little box for the top and then you can just fold it flat and just mail it like a regular like box card so I'll include all of these pieces in the kit and also the um, bottom of the box and then I have cut all the matte pieces for the box the little dinosaur there's two stars a set of balloons and then I've also put the um, the bow in there Lori Whitlock does have a video sharing how she put this together but I will share how I put mine together really quick so I've already matted my bottom for my box the way I did it I put this long piece here on the back and then here's my two pieces where I didn't cut correctly but I think it turned out fine I put my double-sided tape here on the bottom and also this tab here on the side that's how it looks so when you put it together it'll go together like this and then these will fold down like that these little tabs at the bottom will go in like this to form a little box and then this little square piece you just adhere to the bottom like that For the top of the box, there's some tabs on each side of this longer piece. 
and you just adhere this together like a box and that'll be the top piece and I've already matted that as well so of course you would fall on all your score lines first before trying to put this together so it would form the top like that and then for the pieces that you insert the little dinosaur all you do is adhere it right on top of the little um, panel that goes in and there's a little number one so that goes in first balloons the same way it has the number two you just fold these tabs and stick it in the little box and then I just adhered my stars to the front of the box once I put it together so I did put this together first and then I just slid my pieces in and adhered them to the sides and for the happy birthday which is also a part of the file I just stuck that on the front panel and then the bow cuts out like this it has this one piece right here this is how the bow looks again and then it has this for this uh, little center piece right here and then these two back pedal or back tails they just crisscross so it goes together like any other bow that goes on there like that and each of the pieces are adhered in the center and then what I did for this piece I just made it like a circle like that and just adhered it in the center of my bow right here so again this is the um, share more projects with friends that I'll be giving away in about two weeks and the winner for the Christmas boxes will have until the next video which is two weeks to contact me with their shipping information so I can get that kit out to them I will link Lori Whitlock's tutorial for these box cards down below if you have any additional questions please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you all so much for watching and have a great day